Hello everyone, today I'm sharing with you the fragrances which I have gifted to my wife and this is the second part of the video, so stay tuned. Okay, so uh, today I'm going to share with you the fragrances which I have gifted to my wife and actually this is the part two the second part of the video so if you guys haven't seen the part one uh, please go ahead and see that but anyways uh, let's continue the journey so uh, the next fragrance that I have shared with my wife is Dusita La Decor de Siam I think I, that's how you pronounce it so Dusita fragrances this is a fragrance which I have gifted to my wife on the next Christmas and boy was I right about that um, that was a really good decision. Uh, with my limited experience with women's floral fragrances, it is to me the best actually so far. I mean, it's, it's not an over exaggeration. I really think this is the best floral fragrance that I have ever put my nose on. Seriously. So some of the notes are rose, champaka, ylang ylang, violet leaf, uh, vanilla, amber, and so on. So, extremely realistic natural bouquet of flowers with a rose in the center. Uplifting, clean, happy, super smooth, no edges at all. You can also pick up the individual notes if you pay attention to it, but it smells like a new flower altogether on its own. In terms of the style and scent, I wouldn't say this fragrance is anything groundbreaking. It's, you know, it, it's a classic, a floral scent actually but it's the extreme quality that makes this fragrance so impressive and outstanding to me this is the closest you can get to smelling like an actual flower without getting too realistic you know and still maintaining to be a perfume to give you an idea on how natural this perfume smells my wife gets annoyed by bugs when wearing this perfume outside especially in the springtime I hope that gives you an idea of how realistic this smells. While being an amazing high quality perfume, actually this is an extremely easy fragrance to wear actually. The style of per perfume is not niche in a good way, but the quality is niche. This can be a signature scent for women at any age. This today is my wife's favorite perfume. I'm very very glad I bought this perfume. I really want to test out the other creations from Desita as well. So there you go, the Sita. So the next fragrance I have gifted to my wife is Rasasi Jazibayat Musk Tabriz. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Actually, um, I gifted this to my wife on her birthday, I, I believe, if I wasn't wrong. I believe most of you aren't aware of this fragrance at all. Um, this perfume is from the premium line from the Middle Eastern house of Rasasi. Rasasi is a Middle Eastern house known for making high quality clones such as Layuk Buam Por Om, which is known as an extremely close clone of Tom Ford's Tuscan leather. Um, they also have a, a premium line of perfumes, uh, which is called the Boru's Collection. And uh, yeah, this fragrance belongs to the Boru's Collection. It is extremely difficult to find this fragrance unless you are located in mi Middle East area. With enough said, um, coming to the scent, some of the notes are lemon, Italian mandarin, coconut, Indian tuberose, Indian rose, uh, vanilla, and oud. It's a really, really high quality rose musk, musk scent. Uh, the accord and style is kind of designerish in a way. Uh, but it does not smell cheap at all. Uh, you can tell immediately that this perfume has very high perfume oil concentration. It's kind of like you took a designer fragrance and placed it with higher quality materials. Fragrance has a really, really good heft to it. You know, it, it has body. So it lasts throughout the whole day. It's extremely easy to use, but could be suited for more formal occasions. Um, there is a serious kind of vibe to it. I believe this is a really, really good signature scent uh, for women for the uh, for professional occasions that is a really good one also uh, by Rosasi okay so the next fragrance that I have gifted to my wife is the different company sublime Balkis. okay 
Um, this is a fragrance that I gifted to my wife for particularly no reason. I had a chance to buy it at a very good price and seeing many positive reviews, um, I decided to go for it. So this fragrance to me is a very, very tangy black currant rose fragrance. It kind of actually starts with a bright green citrusy opening. The dry down turns into a medicinal black currant rose scent. Yeah, it is something different. Um, I can't really think of any other perfume that kind of smells like this. I do understand that this is completely my own issue, but this scent really reminds me of the diffusers uh, that was massively popular uh, in the Japanese gambling parlors in the early 2010s when I was a college student. You know, it was a strong scent that cut through the cloud of cigarettes and the parlors. Um, there's something really similar to that diffuser. It just really reminds me of that period of my life immediately transcends me to that um, point of time. Of course, the scent of this perfume is far more superior than the diffuser. It is just that the major accord is the same. It's tangy black currant, rose, kind of, you know, lily of the valley. It's, it's hard to describe it. There's nothing really similar to this. Uh, coming to back to my wife, I don't think uh, this is one of her favorite favorite perfumes because she hardly really really hardly wears it i wondered why and i think it's partly because of this extremely hard to open um cap you know especially when your fingers are a little bit slippery um you know see yeah i mean it's you you, you get the point so um that was sublime balkis i mean it's a it's a okay perfume um you know it, some of the issues are mine as well so it's a really niche scent that a lot of the people absolutely enjoy so the next fragrance that i gifted to my wife is lost cherry by tom ford so you, everybody knows about this fragrance right i mean i believe you also know about this yeah but i gifted this to my wife for particularly no reason at all probably mainly because i wanted it <laughs> Yeah, but you know, this fragrance has a really nice tangy cherry accord uh, in the opening with a noticeable boozy accord. The nutty sweet almond accord is also a pleasant feature. Boozy, cherry, almondy, tonka, vanilla. Uh, it is a perfect date out fragrance for women. Extremely seductive and alluring. I mean, anyways, it's really that good. It's a lot more casual and less sophisticated than say, um, Jasmine Rouge. Jasmine Rouge is serious in that direction, but um, Tom Ford Lost Cherry doesn't go into that. It doesn't have any seriousness. Uh, it's very casual, so I, that's the good feature of this perfume. The only downside is that the performance is not that great. Uh, the cherry vibe uh, dies out quite quickly um, on my skin at the three hour mark, maybe. The sillage is not too great either. You actually would have to get a little bit closer to to the skin to actually appreciate the fragrance that can also be good if you wanted to go out on dinner or something and you don't want the fragrance to block out the you know the dinner so that's also a good part of that if you think it in a good way my wife also says she likes it but i don't see it wearing it too often anyway a very great scent but on the really really pricey side of things even within the private blend so please try it out before uh, committing to a full bottle the next fragrance is the last fragrance that I have gifted to my wife. And it is Guerlain Cruel Gardenia. Yeah, so um, this is the most recent fragrance that I have um, gifted to my wife on our wedding anniversary. Cruel Gardenia is a soft gardenia centered floral note with a classic Guerlain powdery Kumaran base. Um, this to me is not a gardenia prominent perfume as you might think. I usually don't get along with gardenia too well as it tends to give me a headache. Uh, but with this perfume, the gardenia note is very rounded off and quite soft that I don't get that issue. Despite the perfume being named Cruel, um, it is a very nice gardenia slash rose kind of perfume. You can't dismiss the classic Guerlain base with the amber, vanilla, powdery, kumarin, and not to forget the peachy lactone. While this perfume absolutely does not smell 
old by any degree, it still does have that classic style along with it. It's sophisticated as well as being casual at the same time. You would imagine a very stable, grown-up, mature woman uh, from this perfume. Uh, the projection and longevity may be on the lighter side. It is absolutely not a heavy, dense fragrance at all. Quite light, maybe underwhelming for the price you pay for it. By the way, this is a uh, 10 mil travel size uh, spray which they used to sell in Japan until they renewed the uh, art and materials collection. I, I'm not really sure if they had these travel size spray anywhere outside of Japan. In Japan, these uh, travel sizes were exclusive to the limited boutiques. Uh, you couldn't buy them online or anything. Too bad they discontinued these uh, travel size sprays because it was really good and if you wanted to try something out uh, before committing to a full bottle. All in all, I think my wife likes this fragrance. She hasn't got the chance to wear it too often because I gifted to her quite recently. So uh, I'll, ho I'll hope she'll catch up with the triggers. Okay, so that was all of the fragrances that I have gifted to my wife throughout our relationship. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Obviously there was, um, there were a lot of hits and misses, but it, you know, it's really fun to find uh, fragrances, you know, for your loved ones. Um, I probably really enjoyed, you know, the process of looking for a perfume and joyful for me as well. So I think uh, my wife uh, has enough fragrances for now. Um, uh, she's pr uh, pretty much uh, bored of being gifted perfumes by now. So I think I'll gift her something different uh, in next occasion. If you guys have anything to share, uh, please share the comments below that uh, what are some of the fragrances that you gifted to your partners, how they liked it or how they didn't like it. You know, it would be really nice if you could share. So thanks for joining. I hope you liked the video uh, and see you in the next video. Thank you.